Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of biology and of course uh, today we'll continue our study into of course our uh, cell structure and functions of what uh, cell and of course today we're going to look at uh, plastids plastids p-l-a-s-t-i-d-s plastids okay now um, have you ever wondered how plants eat how plants drink how plants breathe and how they grow has it ever occurred to you like how do they how do they eat how do they feed okay how do they breathe even okay how do they drink and how do they grow okay so this is what what plastics are for okay so of course uh do not forget that this tutorial is brought to you by the one and only o3 school jam app okay it is the best thing that will happen to you as a jam student all right so please it has all you need to succeed in your exam your exam is a jam cbt exam and of course the app is a cbt practice app all right so you need a good cbt practice app like the old to the school jump app that has been displayed on your screen right now all right to ace and perform maximally well in your exam it has all the past questions so you don't need to bother to go and buy another past question anywhere okay and of course it's it's very very usable and it's flexible all right and of course it has class notes it has for lecture notes on it that are structured according to the jam syllabus that you can study all right you can search for questions according to topics and of course you participate in mock challenge every saturday to test how prepared you are for the exam all right so please go to play store immediately download the app and activate immediately as i'm talking to you now activation is just three thousand era all right so but it will definitely increase in the future so please grab this opportunity download the app activate and start practicing today so we're going to look at plastics, all right? And of course, uh, if you have not liked this video, what you are doing is wrong. Like this video, uh, subscribe to this channel, and of course, keep sharing these videos, okay? So I was asking you, if you have wondered how plants eat, how they what, drink, how they breathe, and how they grow, all right? They do this function just like us, okay? But they do it in different ways. They do it just like us, but they do it in what? In different what ways, okay? One of the categories, okay, of specialized organelles that plants use to survive is what we call what these plastics, okay? A category of what specialized what organelles that plants use to survive, okay, is what these what plastics. Okay, I'll say plastics are double membrane bound organelles. There are double membrane bound organelles found in plants and some algae. Okay, so they are what to say they are double membrane bound organelles. Okay, that are found in plants and some algae. Okay, so please take note of that. There are double membrane bound organelles that are found in plants and some what? Agues. Okay, all right, so that's how what that's what plastics are. Because, and of course, it is very also, uh, it's also very important to know that what uh, some of these plastics are photosynthetic. Okay, some are what photosynthetic, these plastics, some are what photosynthetic, while others are not. Okay, some are photosynthetic, while other plastics are not what photosynthetic. Okay, so I'll go over that again. You say plastics are what double membrane bound organelles that are found in plants and some what algae. Okay, and we say that what that some of these plastics that are what photosynthetic, while other plastics are not photosynthetic. Okay, so now we are going to look at some common plastics. Now let's look at some common plastics that we have. Okay, uh, one among them is what is chloroplast. Chloroplast. Okay. Also, we are also going to look at the chromoplast chromoplast then also we are going to look at what the gerontoplast gerontoplast and then of course we are going to also look at the leucoplast leucoplast okay these are some of the common plastics that we have, that we have and we are going to look at them one after the other in this class okay so starting with the chloroplast it is one of the most common uh, Plastics, plastic organelles that we have, all right? Because uh, we have we've talked about it. I want to talk about what cell organelles, okay? So it's very, very easy to know. And of course, the chloroplast is what? Responsible for what? For photosynthesis, okay? It is responsible for photosynthesis. Chloroplast, responsible for what? For photosynthesis, okay? And of course, remember when we talked about uh, chloroplast, we said what? It was, has what? A special structure that are called what? Tylocodes, okay? Tylocodes. 
it has what special structures that are called what tylocos, where photosynthesis would occur. It is in this tylocos membrane that all that photosynthesis would occur. Also, we also say that what it has a substance that we call what the chlorophyll. It has a substance that we call the chlorophyll. Chlorophyll that is responsible for the green what colors in what in plant for the green what green coloration in plants. All right, so. That is just all about what the chloroplast, okay? So, of course, it's, it is also called the kitchen house of the cell, okay? The kitchen house. The kitchen house of the cell, all right? Okay, it's also called the kitchen house of the cell, the chloroplast, all right? So, this is what's all about what the, uh, the chloroplast, okay? Um, let us now look at what the, chloro the chromoplast. The, chromo the chromoplast, on the other hand, if you have ever wondered why plants have different colors, okay, you see yellow, you see orange, you see red, okay? So, if you ever wonder why plants have what different colors, or because of what this what chromoplast. Okay, so the chromoplast is a place, the chromoplast is a place where pigments, okay, are stored and synthesized in plants, okay? The chromoplast is a place where pigments, pigments, it's a place where pigments, pigments are stored, okay? And what? Synthesized, synthesized in plants, okay? So the chromoplast, what? is a place where pigments are what? Where the pigments are what? Are stored and what? Synthesized in what? In plants. These chromoplasts, they are found in flowering plants, they are found in flowering plants, flowering plants, okay? They are also found in, fr uh, in fruits, okay? They are also found in aging leaves, okay? They are found in what? In flowering plants, they are found in fruits, they are also found in what? In aging what leaves, okay? And it is this chloroplast that is only convert over to chromoplast. It is this what? Chloroplast that is only will convert over to what? To chromoplast. So please take note of that. It is this chloroplast that is only convert over to, chromo, to, chlo, to chromoplast. All right? And also, they have what? This chromoplast have what? Carotenoid pigments. They have what? Caro, carotenoid pigments. Okay? They are what? Carotenoid pigments that are responsible for the different colors that we see in fruit and leaves. Okay, they have what carotenoid pigments that are responsible for the different colors that we see in fruit and leaves. All right, you know what carotenoid pigment is, uh? Okay, if you see, uh, you see what red, they are organic pigments. Okay, usually what uh, orange, red, yellow that you see what in plants. Okay, so they are what organic or pigments. This carotenoid pigment, they are organic or pigments. These are found in what in plants. All right, so they possess what the carotenoid carotenoid pigments that are what found in what in fruit and what and leaves likewise the reason why they have this carotenoid pigments are uh, different colors the reason why they have these different colors and this carotenoid pigment and different structure is to attract what pollination to, to attract what pollinators okay so you know what pollination is isn't it so they do not just have these fine fine colors for nothing they have them to, to attract what pollinators and we say that our pollination is what eh? You know what pollination is? We are talking what in primary school, okay? Transfer of pollen grains from what? From anta to what? To stigma, okay? So we have done all that in primary school before, so do not waste your time. That's why no knowledge is to be wasted. Do don't throw away any knowledge, Joe. You hear me? No throw away knowledge. Do anything you learn, keep it. Keep it. It's going to be useful later on. All right. So I first learned about what pollination while I was in primary school, way back, and it is that definition I'm over giving you right now all right so please you don't throw away anything you learn all right so see life life is in stages it's in stages as you go on you see need what your past experiences all right if if if, if they will not if they will not they will not have said experience is the best chance try if what the past does not matter okay so you must learn okay and you must keep what learning all right so those are what that's what all are all we have to talk about what the chromoplast i'll say that the reason why they have this carotenoid pigments why they have these different colors and structure is to what attract what pollinators okay to attract pollinators then of course the the gerontoplasts okay they are simply chromoplasts that are what undergoing the aging process okay the gerontoplasts they are what chloroplasts that are undergoing the aging process aging process okay they are what simply what chloroplasts that are undergoing the aging what 
process, the gerontoplast. Then we'll now, that will take us to the leukoplast. The leukoplast are subdivided into three. The leukoplast are subdivided into what three? Number one is the aminoplast. We have what the aminoplast, amyloplasts, or the amyloplasts. Okay, we also have the proteinoplast. Proteinoplast. Okay, this proteinoplast can also be called proteoplast. Proteoplast. Okay, that they can also be called the allier allieroplast. Okay, so those are what the subdivision of what the leukoplast. Then lastly, we have what the last one. What's that last one again? Uh, amyloplast, the pro, uh, proteinoplast, and then we have the elioplast. Elioplast. Okay, so this is what the subdivision of what of the leukoplast. The amyloplasts, they are what they are responsible. They are the what plastic organelles responsible for the storage of starch granules. Okay, these amyloplasts are responsible for the storage of what starch granules. Starch granules. Okay, these amyloplasts, they are what the plastic organelles that are responsible for the storage of what of starch granules. Please take note of that. Then, of course, the proteinoplasts or the proteoplasts, also called the alleroplasts. Or that they are responsible for the storage of what? Very evidently, protein. For the storage of protein. Okay? And then, of course, this elioplast, they are responsible for the storage of what? Of fats. Okay? For storage of what? Of fats. Of fats. And oils. All right? So, that is that about what the plastids. Okay? We said what some of the common plastids we have are the chloroplast, the chromoplast, the gerontoplast, and the leucoplast. So the leukoplasts are subdivided into three, the amyloplasts, the proteinoplasts, all right? And then, of course, uh, uh, elioplasts, all right? So say the amyloplasts are responsible for the storage of what? Of starch granules, proteinoplasts for the storage of what? Uh, protein, and then the elioplasts for the storage of what? Of fats or lipids, okay? And, of course, that is that for plastics, all right? So please uh, make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe to this channel, make sure you download the O2D School Jam Bab, and make sure you keep what, practicing and studying for your exam, all right? We want to see all of you succeed. Thank you very much for watching. We love you, and I'll see you in the next episode.